Hmm. All right. Well, this morning, uh, I am speaking on out with the old and in with the new year. That's the title of my talk and the focus of my talk this morning. Today, you know, as you know, we begin 2023 in the Gregorian calendar time. Um, and we can think of a year as a cycle. Cycles are a part of life. Cycles are, you know, like chapters in our life story. We have motorcycles, bicycles, tricycles. I'm kidding. <laughs> I had to say that. <laughs> But no, we have cycles, we have seasons, we have ways that we mark and we celebrate the passing of time. And the ending of a year, it's a natural and important time to reflect and review the past year of 2022. You know, self-reflection is such an essential part of our spiritual life. Um, it's really how we take whatever we've been through and we coalesce it. We we coalesce it into wisdom, into pearls of wisdom. Um, we glean the pearls of wisdom of what we've we've experienced, what we've what we went through. And an equally important part of entering a new cycle of a new year is to bring to mind what we envision for our next year. Um, to use the power of our conscious intention to begin to create what we envision. There's a quote from Revelation uh, that reminds us of the promise of spirit, of the spirit within us that lives within us. Behold, I make all things new. Behold, I make all things new. You know, with the God awareness awake within us, we make all things new. We are creator gods and we can mindfully create versus stumble along right so today i'm going to invite you to participate in a self-reflection and writing practice and the practice has two parts it's a releasing ritual and it's a creating ritual in the first part we make conscious what we would like to release and let go that we're complete with it no longer serves us and that we need not carry into the new year. And then we will release that together. So um, let's begin with taking some moments to reflect on what you no longer want to hold on to. You know, what you are ready to release and let go of. Um, one thing that I suggest considering, this is something I've been putting attention on this week, and that is clearing and purifying of the heart to just have the heart be completely clear, completely clear of blocks and just fully open so that the, the fullest capacity of love can flow into us and through us. And <clears throat> so my focus has been to really release any energy. Sometimes it's very subtle, the little heart pinches that can get stuck in the heart. So, <clears throat> <clears throat> this week I've been doing a practice where I meditate first on really feeling the presence of love in my heart, where I let my heart expand and merge with the heart of the Divine Mother and just feel my true nature as a deeply loving, compassionate, divine feminine presence. And then I open to feeling loved by the universe. I just let myself feel held. You know, I let that energy flow in and through me. And in this very safe and loving space, then I allow myself to remember, to review the year, and remember anyone in the past year that I may have felt any separation from. You know, I allow uh, to come to mind any moment that I might have felt hurt or I might have felt unsafe or I had any negative interaction. And as that person comes to mind, or as those people come to mind, you know, I become aware of any place in my heart that feels a little pinched, and I breathe into that. I just breathe. I use the breath and breathe into it. Let it relax, you know, and I invite a releasing, and I invite a healing 
when I have a very clear intention that I want healing, I want to be free of that block, of that pinch. I want to dissolve that, dissolve that blockage. And really doing this is first and foremost an act of self-love because, you know, the greatest feeling that we can know is wide open heart. You know, when we are in love, when we are filled with love, the world is beautiful. Life is beautiful. Life is so meaningful. So letting go of any blocks in the heart, any resentments is, is such a beautiful way we love ourselves. <clears throat> and then by extension, it's how we can bring more love into the world as well, into all our relationships as well. I think I told you all a few weeks ago, I had surgery um, to remove a salivary stone that was under my tongue. I didn't know you could you could get those, but you can. <laughs> but it was so funny, the stone was shaped like a heart when it came out, of all things. And um, uh, the doctor was saying it could have started like with a little seed getting stuck in that gland. And I, I was thinking, what an analogy for kind of blocks in the heart. You know, it's kind of like the way a little piece of sand gets in a clam. And the clam is irritated by that, that sand being stuck in there. And it builds this little wall around it. And it actually makes it bigger. It makes a pearl. Um, we like pearls. You know, we love our jewelry made of pearls. But for a clam... It, it's a big blockage in there, right? It takes up a lot of space. So there's a way we can release these, you know, irritating bits of sand or blockage from the heart. Um, Will Wilkinson, uh, I brought him to Unity as a guest speaker a few, well, last month. Um, he's, in his book, he talks about how we can do a practice of going back to a memory that was difficult where a blockage got formed and we can change the memory and he calls it a numery forming a numery which is a new memory and healing the block and he says we basically ask ourselves well what was happening back then and what was missing that would have made things better and then we focus on those qualities and we transmit them and in that way, we inoculate this blockage with, with this medicine, and it dissolves, and the memory will begin to heal. So I'll give you an example. Um, I told you, gosh, when was it back in August, I had an experience with my landlord um, that my, su my sewer pipe in my, in my apartment was, was leaking. It had a hole. And I shared that with him, and he, he, he didn't seemed to care and then he didn't believe me and he told me that I was just being a problem tenant and then even when the plumber came and said oh yeah well there's it's obvious you know why you're suffering there's a big hole and he fixed the hole even after that my landlord didn't apologize and I had hoped he would so I worked on that I healed that hurtful memory by seeing my landlord act in the way I had hoped he would and I created a new memory, a new memory, where that day when the plumber fixed my pipe and laughed, that my landlord, right after that, knocked on the door with flowers in hand and said, I'm so sorry, I discounted your difficult experience and your pleas for help. Please accept my apology and also these flowers to fill your apartment with a pleasant scent after what you've gone through. And so this kind of visualization, it can dissolve the blockage in the heart. You know, it can clear our hearts so they have a capacity for bigger love. And really what we're doing is we're blessing that person as well because we're seeing them act from their highest consciousness. We're putting that out there, you know, seeing them act from their highest consciousness. It's a kind of prayer, really for their awakening when we put that out there when we create that new memory and see them acting in the highest way for the highest good of all you know we've all had experiences where we felt treated badly due to somebody's unconsciousness but the good news is we can we can let that go we can let go of that suffering and in that way become our own healer so i just offer that uh, suggestion of healing um, 
because I think that is one of the most important things to let go of just any place in the heart where there's mm, a little pinch, right? Where there's hurt or resentment or anger or fear. It's so empowering to let go. And we have to, you know, listen inside. Are we ready to let go? And we let go as much as we're ready to let go. And it's very organic. You know, we, you know, Ajahn Chah said, if you let go a little, you have a little happiness. If you let go a lot, you have a lot of happiness. If you let go completely, you are free. So it's very empowering to let go. So let's begin our ritual of releasing and letting go. Um, as I said a little earlier, earlier, you need two sheets of paper, two separate pieces of paper and a pen. So if you don't have them, I invite you to gather those tools now. And we'll start in a moment. Glenn is going to highlight a fire for us. So we can all feel like we're all together sitting by a wonderful crackling fire. <laughs> it's crackling. <laughs> And so I'm going to speak for a few more minutes and then we'll, we'll, we'll begin, you know, we'll write about four or five minutes. I'm just going to be watching you all or sensing when, uh, when we're complete and then I'll come back in and invite you to finish up. And if you're done writing sooner, I just invite you to meditate and deepen in the feeling of letting go and releasing, spend the time in reflection, reflection of your year. After we finish this first writing, we'll say an affirmation of release, and then we'll tear our paper into bits, and we'll sim symbolically, with the presence of the fire, feel the release and the letting go. And then after the service, I invite you to burn your own paper in a safe way. I actually have a fire pit. My, my little community here where I live, they're having a fire pit out back um, this afternoon, so I'm going to carry my little bits of paper out there and burn them ceremoniously. So now uh, let's take a deep breath in and exhale. And again, breathe in peace. And exhale, letting go in the body. And just let yourself do a kind of cinematic review of the past year. Go back to January, January 2022, and see how the year unfolded for you and ask yourself, you know, how did I experience this year? And what would like to be released? What would like to be let go? You know, what am I complete with experiencing that no longer serves me? And maybe it's ha a habit. Maybe it's a belief. Maybe it's some feelings. And know that by writing it down, you are beginning to set it free and let itself liberate back into nothingness. Okay. So though, though you're muted, let's, um, before we begin writing, let's uh, repeat a few affirmations. I release all that no longer benefits me. Together, I release all that no longer benefits me. I empty myself so I can accept the good that awaits me. I empty myself so I can accept the good that awaits me. Memories are powerless to disturb or harm me. I now release all thoughts, feelings, beliefs, and attitudes that no longer serve. And as you write, you can just write down a word, or you can write a phrase, or you can write as if it's a journal, journal entry, right? But as we write, we put our trust in the power of God within to set us free from each concern, fear, anxiety, or resentment. And we open to our highest good and the highest good of all who are in our lives. So now you can take your pen and paper and on that first piece of paper, just begin writing. We'll have about four or five minutes for this practice, and I'm going to join you. So we'll begin.
Okay, so I invite you to maybe finish up in the next 30 seconds. Okay, so now as you are finished with your writing practice, I invite you to put your pen down and take a deep breath in and exhale and know that letting go is happening. There's an activation of release that's happening already. Breathing in, I calm my body. Breathing out, I release and let go. Breathing in, I feel at peace. Breathing out, I allow release. Breathing in, I am safe and loved. Breathing out, I feel at ease. Now, if you would repeat these affirmations after me, today I release what I don't want. I let go and let God. In this, I am healed and renewed. I open my heart to love. I am blessed with peace, joy, and harmony. Okay, now I invite you to take your paper that you just wrote and tear it into small pieces. And imagine that you're offering it to the fire on screen symbolically and you can offer the bits of paper to your own fire after service and feel a cleansing feel a cleansing in this letting go in this releasing in this very conscious intentional releasing and letting go just visualize your unwanted thoughts, feelings, habits, just rising up in smoke, being released from you. And allow yourself to experience whatever you're feeling. All feelings are valid. And let the feelings lift. And the, the essence of this ritual is about a shift in consciousness. We become aware of and we name what we're releasing and letting go of it and letting God take it, letting spirit take it, letting it go back into the formless. And we surrender to a higher power that gladly dissolves the limitations and in return offers us peace and a feeling of inner freedom. 
So I invite you now to just sit quietly and go a little deeper for a few moments in this process as I sing a song. And you're welcome to sing along on the chorus if you like. This is called There's a Letting Go. You can tell me your story, I can tell you mine. I've got a good one, it'll make you cry. About all the past heartache, the tears that have flowed, that's a distraction if it's true. exhale and feel that letting go, that purification, that freeing, that opening. And so now, uh, when you're ready, I invite you now to go back into the, the inner reflection and prepare to write a letter expressing what you would like to see happen in the new year. It's like we've created all this space. We're like a wide open, beautiful, blank canvas. We're a brand new chapter. This year is a brand new chapter. And we can be unlimited, right? And call forth the visions and the ideas and the creativity that wants to be made manifest in this new year. We are powerful creator gods, and we have many more life adventures waiting for us to choose them, to create them, to envision them. So um, you can contemplate what could be the best improvement in your life. Is it better health? Is it healing? Perhaps it's adventures that bring more joy 
into your life. Perhaps it's serving the world in a new way, in a new and meaningful way. I just invite you to ask what your soul, what your heart and soul are urging you forwards, forward towards. What would fill your heart with joy? And in this letter, we're going to write a letter. I, you know, I invite you to ask God to assist you in these steps of your journey. So we're going to start now, begin writing, and we'll write again for about four or five minutes. And uh, during this time, Glenn's going to put the fire, bring the fire back.
Okay, so one more minute. Finishing up your, your thoughts. All right. All right. All right. Well, let's just take a moment. And um, just feel how good it feels to be creative. All of our intentions, our resolve, our power of creating an already in thought and written word, just the power of that. That's the beginning of putting it out there in the quantum field that's already forming. So I invite you um, after service to take this creative letter and put it, aware, put it away somewhere that you'll find it later. Um, I like to put mine under my altar cloth. Uh, you can put it in a sacred book, but somewhere it'll stay safe and that you will find it later. <laughs> it's so wonderful, like somewhere around July or August to find these letters and realize how much we have brought them into being. It's pretty magical, the creator gods that we are. So before we close, uh, I'd like to share a few encouraging words um, that I just recently listened to. I listened to a recording of Charles Fillmore giving a New Year's Day talk in the late 1920s. And I just loved this paragraph. I wanted to share it with you. He said, the joy of the Lord be unto you. Begin the new year with great enthusiasm because you know the truth forget the things that are past rejoice in the opportunities of the present many blessings are yours pile up those blessings in your consciousness and they will multiply and increase until your joy will be full god bless and keep you always and so in closing, uh, let us celebrate that we are made in the image of that which creates all life. We have the power to make all things new and to create from the goodness within so much good, so much good in this new year. Each day, each moment, it's a choice. So I thank you everyone for joining us here at Unity today as we are such a loving spiritual community and we are making a difference in this world. We are letting go together in a sacred and intentional way, all that no longer serves us. We hold that vision for all beings that all beings are able to let go what no longer serves them. And we envision and we begin anew. We create a bright and a healthy and a happy and a blessed new year of 2023. So may you and your loved ones be safe and well, be filled with peace and optimism and feel loved and cherished and be a blessing to the world. May all beings be happy and be at peace. Thank you. And so I would like us to sing Old Lang Syne, in case you didn't sing it last night. <laughs> And so for this, oh, Glenn, thank you. Glenn is posting the lyrics for this. I'm going to, I want to see you all. Instead of the peace song today, we're going to sing Old Lang Syne. So you can imagine we're in our circle, though. Reach, reach your hands through the box and grab hold of that person there on your left and that person on your right. 
And just feel we are together as community, as family, spiritual family, bringing in this new year. So hopefully, you know, I think I know these words, but we have, we have them. So let's sing. together let's say the prayer of protection the light of god surrounds us the love of god enfolds us the power of god protects us the presence of god watches over us wherever we are god is and all is well happy new year <laughs> Let's unmute. I want to hear you say Happy New Year. <laughs> oh. Happy, Happy New Year. Year. Happy New Year. Year. Happy New Year. Aloha. Happy New Year to everyone. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Oh. So good to see you all and be with you all. <laughs> Happy New Year. Thank you, Kathy. Kathy, that was wonderful. Oh, you're welcome. Did that all? Is that a good ritual? Yes. To get some yes. good insights and mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you very much. It was absolutely perfect. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so so glad. All right. New Year, everybody. Happy, Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Love you all. Love you. Love you. Love Bye. you all. Love Bye. You. Bye. All right, we'll stop the recording.